just as planned. We'll miss her. I don't think I can say any more or any less for such a remarkable mare. Rainbow Dash touched a million lives in her brief time in the sun. We will never find a way to replace her in our hearts. Twilight paused, gazing out upon the crowd of ponies. There must have been a thousand of them. Most were Pegasus, but a few enchanted earth ponies and unicorns dotted the clouds. Her friends were front and center, Applejack wrangling her faded hat, trying not to cry, Fluttershy sobbing, clutching her arity like she was the last rock in the ocean, Pinky, her eyes dead. The world will remember her for her crowning achievement, the, so the rain boom, the air speed record, saving the world time and time again, and an element bearer. We'll remember her as a friend. Scootaloo resplendent in the blue Wonderbolt blue, hung limbs between Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle like a puppet with her strings cut off. Twilight sighed before continuing. We don't get to spend enough time with our friends. Rainbow Dash was always on the move, always working towards her next goal. And it's to my great regret that this took her away from us far too often. Still, whenever we needed her, Rainbow Dash would be there. I don't think I will ever stop expecting her to be stood him at my shoulders. Twilight gazed over at the casket. Closed, of course, Rainbow Dash had gone out in a blaze of glory, just as everyone, ha every pony had expected. She always said she would be proud to die for the Wonderbolts blue. We will miss you, Twilight echoed. Goodbye, Rainbow Dash. Twilight wasn't sure why she volunteered to clear out Rainbow Dash's house. There was a certain logic to it, she supposed. Besides Fluttershy, she was the only one with wings. And Fluttershy was a wreck after the funeral. Filling always calmed her down anyway, and some pony had to go through Dash's things. The cloud door opened with a tired squeak revealing a grand hall. Dash had filled to the brim with trophies, blue ribbons, and newspaper articles. Not to mention her own person promotional posters. It brought a smile to Twilight's face. She could always trust Rainbow's ego to dominate all else. Picking her way through the shrine to speed, she passed Rain Dash's record plaque. Speed, endurance, youngest younger Wonderbolt captain. Twilight smiled as she spotted an empty place where Dash's old active Wonderbolt's awards was missing. Rainbow had ne never been keen to admit She'd broken that peculiar record. Shaking her head, Twilight made her way up towards a tiny cubbyhole. Rainbow Dash called her office, waiting for her were bills still to pay, long lost friends to f notify, and equestrious revenue to scream at. She found it strange, the mundane deteriorates a pony had to deal with when one of their friends died. Still, some pony had to, and Dash had no family beyond an on-and-off sisterhood with Scootaloo. Rainbow Dash's office was just as remembered as she remembered. A desk, a couple of filling cabinets spilling with their contents out onto the floor, below a huge calendar of events in a wall full of photos. Twilight face lit up upon seeing the image in pride of place. It was a recreational picture 25 years on from the first she'd met ever sent to Celestia, but in exactly the same pose. 
Oh sure, it had taken nearly a month to gather them all together. Not to mention Spike was five times bigger. Pinky was round in the middle. And not from sweets, you could see the gray in Dash's hair. It still brought a little spark of joy when she saw it. It was remarkable how much it hurt that Twilight was the only pony who still looked like she was in her 20s though. There'd never be another photo. It wouldn't be the same without Rainbow Dash. She sighed sitting on the cushion before the desk and began opening to pick her way through the scattered papers. Rainbow Dash's hoof writing was a quite acquired skill, but at least most of it was from other ponies. The top layer of papers were near random assortments of scrolls, letters, and forms. The extensive reports from shortly after Nightmare Moon's return, blending into fan letters, and page 91 from 106 of Dash's memoir, the third long aborted draft, if Twilight remembered correctly, an open letter to the Wonderbolt stationery caught Twilight's eyes. She stifled a giggle as she skimmed through the se chittledle letter from the bear psychologist for dodging her monthly screening, the huge calendar revealing then a few head shrinkers appointments. Twilight sighed, f smiling to herself. It was strange how Rainbow stubborn stubbornness was now a fond memory. Twilight dug deeper, her magic reaching into the stairs of misfiled paperwork from surgical procedures, stunt foils, and official Wonderbolt communications sorted themselves into a neat pile. Fan mail and personal correspondence dropped into another. Bills and other such legal gifts grists fell into a huge sa stack for her to pour through for another important. Twilight almost laughed at the bitter irony as she came across Pink Rainbow Dash's recipe from her solicitor for a new will. It was less than a week old and Twilight fought Pinkie Pie was a prophetic one. At last, the desk was bare, save for a few tattered scraps of paper. Twilight frowned after deciding after she resigned as a librarian. She couldn't stand to see any pieces of paper defaced in the burst of magnetic, magnet light. The slipping reassembled itself. Dear Rainbow, Captain Rainbow Dash, I am sorry to say, but the board must insist. While we respect your skills above all, all else, your performance of late has not been to the standards that the Wonderbolts acquire in our lead flyer rest. Rest assured that the Wonderbolt Academy will welcome you as our new lead trainer. However, at the beginning of the month, you will be off the active service list. There will be no further argument. Sincerely yours, Golden Dawn. Chairman of the board, Wonderbolts. A terrible creeping suspicion welled up in Twilight's belly. She hadn't known Rainbow Dash was retiring. The mayor had mentioned it once in their monthly meetups. With a flash, Twilight teleported in front of the rest of Wonderbolts' files, and her magic scattered the whole mass into the air. Pages and files flashed before her eyes as she scanned through the fr frantic haste. It was a stupid fury, a disservice to the bravest and most loyal pony she'd ever known, a pony who'd always said she would pr be proud to die in Wonderbolt Blue. Twilight had checked, had to check. It took just a moment to find the foil containing Rainbow Dash's final stunts, and she ripped the plan free, laying them out on the desk, the daredevil dive, the dizzling roll, the impossible turn, which had claimed Rainbow Dash's life, were all there in dispassionate white on blue. 
There was nothing beyond the fatal turn. No, nor a clue to how she would have survived to fly another day. Twilight's breath caught in her throat as she stared horrified at the page. Rainbow Dash's stunt had gone just as planned.